Today we are doing a product review on the Akuma Rockaway 12 foot surf fishing rod. This is the Fish Bite Signature Series rod. And just really quickly, we're gonna cover this because then I wanna get it out in the water because the bite's picking up. So as you can see here, we've got all of the information there for you. I'll let you read it, 12 foot rod. This only handles up to four ounces of weight. So you've gotta be careful not to max out too much. I have had five ounces on here, but I wouldn't suggest too much more than that. You don't wanna break the tip of your rod off. But, um, so this is medium heavy, 12 to 25 pound of a line. So you're not gonna put really, really heavy line on here. I use 20 pound mono. I use high visibility mono. Uh, that's the favorite thing that I like to use because it lets the birds be able to see your line. And it's very helpful, especially if you maybe are, you know, you've got a lot of lines in, you can actually see line especially with polarized lenses you're gonna see it better I turn this around so you can watch me cast this you can see the sensitivity you can see how far it bends actually this is a four ounce sinker on here so this is like the max weight sinker that you should have I've just got some sand fleas with sand flea fish bites on our fishing girl silver rig which has been producing the fish lately you've got a couple nice whitey in the bucket already so but here let me go cast so that was casting it and I'll show you reeling it when we get another fish on we're getting hit over here we've got the uh, Puma Rockaway rod. It feels like a pretty good fish. I don't want to lose it in the wash. What do we got here? Oh, that is a pretty good whiting. That's a nice whiting. Check him out. Yeah, this Akuma Rockaway, you're not going to miss a bite with this thing. I saw it just trembling a little bit and uh, the sky was on there. So this is on our Fishing Girl Silver Rig. I love this silver rig made by Frisky Fins for us. We've got four other colors too, but this silver is one of my favorites. Seems to work in clean or dirty water. So look at this whiting. We're gonna measure him up a bit. Not bad, I mean, he's not huge. Like, not even 12, like 11 and a half. Fred, you cannot have my fish. We are getting hit on the Akuma Rockaway right now. You can probably see that going. So I'm gonna reel that in and show you how the reeling action works. So we're gonna twist that to the left, lift it straight out, just start reeling. You can see the sensitivity. You can see how much this bends. And if the fish is still on, we wanna stay ahead of it. We run real fast. I've got this paired with the Akuma Rockaway 6000 reel. And we're gonna cover that in a different video though. This is just about the rod. Ah, and we lost our fish. But that gives you an idea of, from this view and from the side view, what it looks like when you're reeling this rod in and how sensitive it is. Okay, I've got them both tightened down. You can see the Akuma Rockaway has a little bit more bend to it. And keep in mind, we lost about six inches off the tip of that from it breaking and having to put a new tip on there. So at least six inches, maybe eight is gone. But yeah, that used to curve a whole lot more when it was tightened down. I'm so excited to tell you guys about our new Fish and Girl Sputnik sinkers. We've got three ounce four ounce with the pink and five ounce with the black. These 
hold better than any of the other sinkers that I've ever used in the industry. That is why we partnered with Redfin Fishing. If you're going to be doing any surf fishing, you definitely want to have some of these Sputnik sinkers in your fishing tackle arsenal. It's going to help you be more successful catching fish because it's going to keep your bait right where you want it. And now, back to our video. Yeah, there's some on there. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What do we got? Man, that thing was pulling. <laughs> it's a little, little bonnet head. That thing was pulling like a bigger fish. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna get this out of your chin. <laughs> and this water's coming up close. There you go, buddy. I don't think you want a shark, Fred. You don't seem interested. He, he's not interested, look. He's like, nope. This dude made me think he was a big fish. All right, there we go, he's gone. This gives you an idea of the Akuma Rockaway and what it's capable of. It's one of my favorite rods to use out on the beach. Uh, a little sad that the tip broke because that extra distance really, I think makes a huge difference in this rod. But I know when Fish Bites had them make this signature series rod, there's a few things that they changed on it and it is, uh, one of them is the guides. They have Fuji guides, so if you're a Fuji guide person, <laughs> this rod has them. Another thing I really like about this is that it has a 50-50 split, so it makes it a lot easier to transport in a vehicle, and especially if you have a smaller vehicle, um, the ones that are more like a 70-30 or 60-40 split are going to be harder for you to transport or if it's all one piece I don't know of any surf fishing rods that's all one piece but a lot of inshore rods don't break down this one breaks down right here in the middle it's very easy to transport it does have uh, a longer space here I like this um, the little uh, knob on the butt of the rod it just makes it easier to hold and uh, this has good distance here from the butt of the rod to the reel. It's not quite as long as the Ninja Dagger that I have, but it still gives you enough power behind what you're doing. Another cool thing that they did here is that they have a little uh, loop here. So if you are the type of person that likes to get everything all set up before you come out here, you can take one of your hooks Personally, I don't do this because I get everything set up on the beach, but I know a lot of people who like to have it ready to go when they get out here so they can just throw it out. But it has this handy little loop that you can uh, use to either loop a swivel or you can loop your, your hook into that. So I'm, I'm watching my lines because I'm still out here fishing too. But that wraps up this product review for the um, Akuma Rockaway 12 foot surf fishing rod. If you have additional questions that I didn't cover, please leave them in the comments. I would be happy to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I can probably point you to Akuma because they're going to know the answer about it. Or to Fish Bites if you're local in the St. Augustine area. Stop in at the Fish Bites Trading Post and they have typically are, have these always in stock. But if you're going to be visiting anywhere between St. Augustine all the way down to New Smyrna Beach and you would like to learn how to do surf fishing, if you would like to come out on the beach and uh, book a charter to fish with me, that would be awesome. We would love to do that. And so you can go to fishing-girl.com and check out the charters page. There's a ton of information there. There's frequently asked questions. Plus, there is a, a video about what to expect on a charter. So take a look at that, and we would love to book that. You want to book it as soon as possible, though, because dates are starting to fill up. But I appreciate you who are watching all the way through the end. You rock. And as always, tight lines. God bless. And we'll see you. I'm gonna turn this camera around so you can watch me. Uh, I'm gonna watch. You can watch me. Yeah. What is it? Was it called cast? Yeah. <laughs> no, Fred. No, 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 no. This is my fish. <laughs> he was gonna take my fish. Hey there, fishing girl. Just hanging out here with my buddy Fred. Everybody say hi to Fred. Hey. 
sorry. He's a little rude sometimes. Anyways, catch you later.